forex traders in today's quick video i'm going to be going over the steps that i personally take in order to maximize my risk to reward ratio on one minute time frame and without further ado let's do this so first of all the first thing i'm looking at is the asia session my asia session is marked out with this indicator called the kill zone if you want to find it just go to the indicator section and type asia and then this is it asian range and kill zones by our jg trader right there so it marks on my asia session i need to find a demand zone my demand zone has to be unmitigated what do i mean by that by unmitigated i mean that so i mark at the body of the demand zone for me personally at no point must i see that the demand zone has been touched or tested by the price that's what it means that the price that the demand zone is unmitigated number two is that i am looking for a situation where the price stop hunts the asia session and there's a liquidity grab so right here we have a swing this right here is a swing low of the asia session right there so this level right here automatically is going to be um where the price is going to hunt for to grab liquidity so i'm looking for a liquidity grab after the asia session during the london session into a demand zone that hasn't been mitigated by the price action so that's that so we are currently on a one age time frame one age time frame we can see that the price is creating higher highs and higher lows and it's pretty much trending upwards so we can see that the trend is pretty much bullish just like that now we are waiting for a liquidity grab drop down to quick 1m this is the open of the london session okay so when the price hits our demand zone what am i looking for i'm looking for a clean change of character by clean what do i mean by that i mean that the previous swing has to be taken um in a concise manner so this right here is a swing a swing is characterized by a candle that has a high and the two candles right next to it are below it or when the candle has a low and the two candles right next to it are above it that's a swing so that swing has to be taken by the price so that right there that for me is not a change of character the price has to fully close above this level before before i consider it to be a change of character so let's see when that happens there we have it right here is when the price changed character that's our chalk level and now i'm looking for the last demand candle before the price actually broke that swing this is it this is the body of the candle which actually pushed the price to the upside there is this small tiny doji demand zone but i see that as weak and not enough volume is within that section of the market so this is the section i'll be looking for the price to retest and then my target is going to be the high of the asia session box so right here this is going to be the take profit area so at this level at this moment of time i can already start placing my buy limits something like this just place the 
stop plus just below the, the demand zone. So this is the new order block. Now we wait for the price to retest our demand zone. That's the test. As you can see, the price tested that demand zone several times. Sometimes you just gotta hold your nerve and stick to the strategy. Back test, be resilient and work on your psychology. And that is 13%. Let's see how long it took. So the entry took place around 1040, 1040. And it reached the target around 1.30 PM. And that's how you enter on a one minute time frame from one age directly to one minute time frame. But before that, you need to have two things in place. A demand zone that hasn't been mitigated so it's fresh and Asia session stop hunt where there was a there was a clear liquidity grab of the Asia session low if you found this valuable go and smash that like button leave a comment in the comment section below watch more videos on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one take care